Hi guys, welcome back. This is Laura with Quilted Chicken and we are taking a look at the Moda Block Heads 4 Quilt Along. Today we're going to do, there's bonus blocks and I had no idea. So we're going to do the bonus block number one because it's a kind of a, a fun simple design and, and we're still waking up here. I was so excited to start this block uh, yesterday and things did not work out. I had to go into town, and so by that time it was dark, I didn't want to be filming in the dark looking creepy. So, the mode of Blockheads 4 bonus block is called Roundabout, <clears throat> and it's literally just, it almost looks like the corner of a, uh, like a log cabin. It's just a center square, and you alternate going uh, on e either side. You can put it together. I've all, the ways that I've seen it online have all been uh, with, the, with the centers together. But they've also got this kind of layout. I thought it might be fun, and it might be crazy, if we made four of the four and a half inch blocks and put them together into this larger block. Um, because the, lar the, the nine inch block is four of the large pieces, but if we did four small four inch pieces, so that would be 16 little blocks, <clears throat> we'll see. I might not be up for that, but we're gonna give it a try. So um, let's take a look and see what we've got. So starting instructions for the nine inch block, we're gonna have four squares that are two inches and those are gonna be these four here. We're gonna do our block scrappy, uh, kind of like this picture that's printed. Um, I'm just gonna find and pick what we like. For B, which is the next, uh, the next leg of the block, there's, uh, it's inch and a half by two. The next leg of the block is inch and a half by three, inch and a half by four, inch and a half by five. So as it grows, that one inch is just going to be added and we're going to go all around. So let's get our, let's get our colors picked out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do a scrappy, so each block will be different. And I alternated the colors. We're gonna start with our white, and then we'll go to the creams, and then we'll go brown. And then we'll switch over to this uh, kind of the, the, the black and gray, and then we'll do a black on the outside. Um, all of these, except for the centers, are cut an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all my fabrics that we've picked and just cut an inch and a half strip. And I'll have that for the next block. And then I can just cut my, cut my sizes down. I just realized I picked this fabric twice, so we're going to get a different woven for its place. And because when we laid our fabrics out, we had the outside pieces up on top, we're going to start cutting from the outside and work our way in. The large outside pieces for E and D are cut inch and a half by four and inch and a half by five. Our next color is the, uh, the gray and blacks. Those are our next inside pieces. So we've got a C and a D 
and those are cut at an uh, inch and a half by three and inch and a half by four. So because the pattern that is going to be in that small spot space uh, is going to be inch and a half, I'm thinking about which direction to actually to actually cut these. Uh, I think that this direction has got a little bit more interest than trying to then cutting this little uh, pattern into half almost. So we're going to make sure to cut our inch and a half this direction. On to the next color in which is our browns so we're gonna press we're gonna press these and get those cut it's gonna be our our B we're missing a C right there but I know that's a C we've got a B and a C and those are cut at inch and a half by two and inch and a half by three Guys, I'm so sad. I picked too many colors. We are going to skip doing the white, white centers and we're going to do the cream. I don't know why I was counting five, five colors, but there's only, there's one, two, three, four sections. So this extra section, the white that I picked out, we're going to leave that out. We'll save that for another time. And our center section is cut, uh, we need four pieces that are two inches square. So let's lay this out in our diagram and we'll see what we have. We want to make sure that all the colors play nice together and that we, we can move around any pieces uh, that don't look right next to each other. Um, I do want to be careful when I sew my wovens, uh, they have a brushed side and then they have a flat side. So I'm going to make sure to, to keep those, uh, to keep the brushed side up. We're going to grab our first two, our little inside square and our one and a half by two inch piece here for all of our sections and we're going to get those sewn together. Okay, we have our first section started and I've laid them back down according to, and I can keep track of that because it's going to match up with the piece that's next to it. So I am not going to press my seams at this time. Um, sometimes when you press, uh, if you're not careful, it's going to stretch those pieces out and then it's hard to get them back together. When I sew them to the next piece, I am going to finger press this open. We're going to put this together with our piece. I am going to sew with the single piece on top so that if I need to, I can pull that a little bit and get that to fit. So next we're going to sew all four of our sections. I am going to do these one at a time so I don't lose my spot and then we'll work around our, our square. Also, the directions have that all of the seams on this are a scant quarter inch. I did run into an issue where this first seam was a little bit too wide. 
And so uh, I lied and when I sewed this one, I actually sewed with the pieced section on top so that I could ease this in just a little bit. It was pulling down so I wanted that to, I want those to fit. On such small pieces, if you, if you are sewing and you get to the end and you've got just a little section hanging off like this, if you can see that little piece, when you put the block together, this piece is going to look a little wonky because you've taken you've, you you then have to cut that little little piece off. So, so and thankfully with wovens they're they're a little forgiving. <clears throat> but we did want to we did want for these pieces and we did want our ends to match up so that it comes together and looks nice at the end. So also if you noticed I sewed this piece to the wrong to the wrong side. We're going to take this out. On these pieces on the back, I'm going to press, when I sew, I'm going to have the seam pressed this direction. If we try to press it open, we're going to get a little bit of bulk right here. And I don't know, I don't, well, that wouldn't be too bad. We're going to, we're going to press it, press it out and away from this seam though. I love it. I also realized about halfway through that when we sew these seams together, if we've pressed all of these away, that all of those are going to be going the same direction here. So um, we will we will stitch them together like they are pressed, and then we'll press them open. We are going to press these two halves before we get the entire block together. If there are ever pressing directions on a pattern, pay attention because it does make a huge difference. Thankfully, when I went to pressing, I was able to, on this seam where we had stitched, I was able to kind of pull apart just a tiny bit this seam so that it could be pressed open it flips at this intersection right here so now when we sew the blocks together we'll able we'll be able to um, press them open here so that we don't get any bulk across the front So now for our two halves. Well guys, that's it. There's our bonus block. In all of the pictures that I've seen, I don't know that anybody, I haven't seen it where they make it look like a square, so I'm not sure if I love this yet. But um, I think our, our little block that we do, we will alternate and as opposed to, which we could just reverse the colors. So instead of having the white here, we'd have the white out here, we'd start with the black and then it would look a little bit more um, kind of like a dimensional, kind of like, kind of like what the picture looks like. See on this, on this one here, they, they did alternate their lights and their darks. We just made them all go around, but it is what it is and I'm not changing it. I do like that my polka dots are opposite. I do like that I made my stripes opposite, so at least we do have a little bit of variance there. Um, so again, this was the Moda Blockheads 4. You can follow them on the Facebook Moda group. Uh, Moda Blockheads, you do have to join, um, but it's a it's a quick and easy fill it out, and you get you get to join and see all see everybody's stuff. Or you can also go to Instagram hashtag Moda Blockheads, and you can see all of the uh, blocks that everybody's doing up there. So I hope you liked it. I hope I had some tips and some tricks and um, also how to recover from mistakes. So that's, that's what sewing is all about. Sometimes you learn the most on the simplest blocks. So that's it right there. Thanks a lot guys.